Okay, so this is the second class on 8085 simulator software kit. Okay, so in our last class, we have understood uh, we have understood the different kind of data transfer instructions, their operation, and we have seen small programs related to data transfer instructions. So if you try to remember my previous class, in that class I have shown you how we can use data transfer instruction to transfer data from different memory locations to register. <coughs> and from register to memory location or from register to register. We have seen different kind of examples with MOV, MVI, LDA, SDA, LHLD, SHLD, LXI, Exchange, XCHG, LDA, SDA, in out instructions. Okay. So today uh, I'm going to show you the next group of instructions that is arithmetic group of instructions. Now, before starting this particular set of instruction, I want to say one thing about the data transfer group. During data transfer, uh, in, during the execution of data transfer instruction, you have noticed that I have not talked about the flags because data transfer instruction does not affect any flag. Okay, so uh, I have not talked about the flag, but now as we are going to next topic that is arithmetic instruction set so here we have to talk about the flags because all the arithmetic operations will change the status of different flags okay so uh, suppose you are uh, in 8085 in 8085 what we can do we can do the addition we can do subtraction we can increase or decrease a single register or a register pair when we are doing addition we can do addition of two eight bits uh, we have that instruction. We have the instruction of addition of two 16 bit data also. Okay. And we can transfer the a set of binary. Coded decimal number. Okay. So we can do BCD operation using. 8085 arithmetic instruction set. Okay, so today we will see this type of examples using arithmetic instructions. So, first of all, we have as you can see this simulator, <coughs> we have the instruction ADD, ADI, ADC, ACI. So, this four instructions for addition. Okay, what we can do, we can add two numbers. Okay, then we can add two numbers with the carry. So there are two types of addition. One addition is just add any two numbers. Okay, that is one kind of addition. And another addition is addition of two numbers with carry. So obviously the question is where is that carry coming? So carry is nothing but it is coming from the addition of your previous bit. Okay, suppose you are adding, so just like a decimal system you just think, so it will be clear to everyone. Decimal system, if you want to add 28 with 28, Okay, so what do you do? 28 plus 28. So 8 plus 8, 16, right? So you don't write 16 at your result location. What do you write? You write 6. And that 1, that is the carry after addition of 8 plus 8. So after addition of LSB means there are two bits. So I can say LSB is 8 and MSB is 2, 28. Thus, after addition of two LSB of two numbers, you are getting result as six, six and you are getting carry as one, right? So when you are adding uh, your MSB two plus two, so your result is not only two plus two, your result is your two plus two plus one. So you, here you are considering the carry that is generated from your previous addition of bits, right? So that is the case. So suppose you are adding simply two numbers in decimal number, you have there you can see that this kind of uh, carry, this kind of scenario where carry are carry generated, carry is generated. You have to uh, you have to carry that carry. Uh, you have to uh, you have to forward that carry when you are adding the next bit of data, right? So similar to that, here also it is possible when we are adding two numbers. Like uh, here we cannot go like adding addition of two numbers bit by bit, right? What we can do in decimal here, you cannot do here. What you can do in here in 8085 simulator in 8085 system, we are talking about hexadecimal number. So, when we are adding a hexadecimal number with another hexadecimal number, 
then what what actually uh, uh, we can do so first hexadecimal number suppose you are adding a hexadecimal number as you can see 3e here you can see already uh, just uh, arbitrary data 3e is there and 4 5 so if you add 3e with 4 5 so what happened tell me if you add 3e with 4 5 then what happened so uh, 5 plus e 5 plus e so there will be a carry after 5 plus e what you will get you get uh, you get 4 right so e plus 5 sorry you get 3 e plus 5 means e then s then 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 so you are getting 3 and 1 1 as a carry okay so what what actually you are doing you are doing addition of lower nibble you can say this is a hexadecimal number 3 there are two nibbles means nibbles means four bit combination so one is lower nibble that means e and another is upper nibble that is three so each of them are having four bits so four bit combination is a nibble so there are two nibbles one upper nibble is three lower nibble is e so when you are adding two numbers so you can consider the two numbers like 3e and 4 5 so when you are adding 3e with 4 5 what you are doing you are adding the lower nibble first when you are adding the lower nibble e plus 5 then there is a carry is generated so that carry will actually uh, automatically go to the upper nibble addition part right so that carry is automatically passed to the addition of upper nibble 3 plus 4 so 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 1 8 so you will get finally 83 if you add 3 e and 4 5 okay but here you can see that there is no carry is generated after addition of your upper nibble right so that's why this addition will not actually affect your carry flag okay but as you can see there is a carry generated after addition of lower nibble that is that will be that will be actually handled by the 085 internally you don't need to uh, worry about that thing you need to worry about the thing that is generated after addition your addition of your upper nibble say you are uh, working with a 8 bit number like here i have shown you 3e plus 4 5 so in this case if, if there is a carry generated from your upper nibble then you have to take in you have to take care about that okay so like what suppose if 45 plus c6 so if you add these two number then what you can expect 45 plus c6 so 5 plus 6 so this will give you b but c plus 4 what it will give c then d e f 0 so it will give you 0 1 as a carry right so that means when you are adding 45 with c6 you are getting a carry after addition of your upper nibble 4 plus c and that carry that carry which is generated after this addition of upper nibble will make your carry flag value equals to 1 okay that carry will make your carry flag value equals to 1 and now so as you are adding to 8 bit number so i can say that there is no way i can show you that adc how adc is working here but if i say that if i consider a 16 bit number addition then i have to consider the adc i have to consider the adc instruction there okay why because you uh, because i will show you when you are adding to 16 bit number how adc instruction is used in that particular case but this is the way you can understand that what is the carry and where you have to use the carry okay so you don't need to worry about the carry which is generated after of your 8 bit data right but when you are uh, getting carry of addition of upper nibble we have added in our experiment lab experiment addition of two 8 bit numbers using these instructions we have done as subtraction of two 8 bit numbers in execution of this kind of program increment or decrement like this and we have done addition of two 16 bit number using this instruction dad and there is instruction DAA which I have shown you in during the theory class how we can use this instruction to convert our data in decimal number when we are adding to.
So these are the views of this arithmetic group of instructions. So let me just show you some examples so that make uh, that make your base much clear about this, this instruction. Okay. So these are the quite straightforward instruction. Let me just so without taking any help of your data transfer instruction, you cannot. Without taking uh, help of your data transfer instruction, you cannot make use of this arithmetic instruction. Okay, to do the arithmetic operation, you have to take help of your data transfer instruction. Okay, so let's take this example. Just like MBI, I am sending a data into register B. Say that is a 35. Okay, so what I can do? I can get. Uh, I can immediately add the data with the content of accumulator, but I know that initially the Accumulator is zero. Whenever you start simulating program, I am loading a data into accumulator 65. Now I can add using add B. So add B, I can add. So after add, what I will get? I will get my resulted accumulator. Okay, now you can see. So everything is zero. You start execution. First line is executed. You got your number into register B. Okay, 35. Second line is executed. You got your num second number into register A. That is 65. Add B. You are doing. So third line is executed. So you are getting this is your result 9A. So this is the result you are getting. Whether the carry is generated after this addition? No, there is no carry is generated because your carry flag status is zero. Whether the uh, uh, what is the value of your sign flag here? You can see sign flag value is one because uh, <coughs> sign flag value is directly uh, uh, sign flag value is nothing but the value of your result at D7 bit. Okay, so in the D7 bit, if you here 9a means in the D7 bit you had one that makes your sign flag equals to one. And how many ones are there in this result 9a? So there are actually four even number of one, so that's why you are getting a parity flag here. Okay, so this is the result of your addition number. Okay, so I can use this kind of instruction. So like this. So add B, I have shown you, but if I want to use ADI, then what I can do? So I don't need to get a second data in, in any other register. If I want to use ADI, means I am just I am just providing the data. So if I just load the one data into the accumulator, then I am providing the second data. Okay. So what is my second data? That's 35. Okay. So this is my second data. So there is syntax error. You can see that I have to mention where I can. Yes. This is the correct way. So it is not taking that uh, part. So so this is the MBI A35 A65. So I am moving the data into accumulator. Then I am doing what? I am directly adding the data 35 with accumulator. Okay. So now it is getting the first data into the accumulator. You can see 65 is here. Then you are adding this. So it becomes 9A. So you can do this using this kind of instruction ADI. Okay. And now if I want, if you want to see that what is the use of ADC and ACI, then what I can say. I, I, I need to I need to consider a different set of data. Why? Because uh, in a simple 8 bit addition, uh, I cannot show you how I can use ACI and ADC. Okay. There, for that reason, I have to consider a 16 bit data. Okay. So if I take a 16 bit data, then you can understand that how I can use a 8 bit, uh, how I can use the ADC instruction. Okay. So let me just show you. Say MVI. So I'm moving a data, let's say uh, MBID data is your 65. Okay. And MVIE is your data is 35. So you have this data into register D and E, okay? And now, suppose uh, suppose you are you take another set of data into register H and N, okay? So I can take using this one also. Okay. 
so you can take this example for other first part but just i am showing you everything every possible combinations okay even 89 okay so what actually i have actually you see let me just execute this three line so what you have 65 85 into de register pair 87 89 into hl register pair now if you if i want to add these two numbers 16 bit numbers you see these are the 16 bit numbers if i want to add these two numbers what i can do so let i can do this i can add the lower lower e lower 8 bit first right if i just simple just simple concept if you want to add 16 with 65 what you will do you, whether you do the addition of upper nibble first no you add the lower nibble first then you add the upper nibble that is the way you can add same, same way here you are adding de register with hl register what do you add first you add the lower lower register first so you add e and l first then you will add d and h so when you are adding e and l how you can add e and l directly is there any instruction by which you can do this no because if you want to add content of e and l you have to transfer any of the data into the accumulator say i am transferring the e data into the accumulator okay so i i got my data e into the data at register e into the accumulator okay so you see so you have what you have you have 85 into accumulator from e it is copied to accumulator okay now you can add with l so now i can use a d d l here okay so if i use a d d l here so what you will do what well, microprocessor will add 85 with add this accumulator content 85 with this l content 89 okay so after addition these two numbers what you will get so let me just show you what i am getting this 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 addition is done okay i am getting zero e here okay and i am getting a carry so very important so eight nine plus eight five you, when you are adding these two numbers you are getting a uh, carry okay so that carry now you consider just same concept when you are adding two 8 bit numbers after adding lower nibble 6 and 5 uh, if there is a carry that carry should you should consider when you are adding the upper nibble 1 and 6 right so like that here also after addition uh, of lower register e and l if you are getting a carry that carry you need to consider when you are adding the upper nibble right so First of all, your result should move to the your proper location. Okay, so let, let, I I will show you. Let I want to move my result into register C. Okay, so this is the where you can move your result. Okay, so why I'm moving? You know, understand that then your data will change. Okay, because you have to add the upper nibble, so there also you, you need to use this accumulator. So accumulator content after addition of lower nibble, I just move it into C. And now I can move another content. Say I'm moving the content of D, right, into accumulator. Okay. So I want to add the upper nibble. So upper nibble, here it is not upper nibble because here it is a 16 bit data. So here it is, I want to add the upper registers, upper 8 bit uh, registers. Okay, so upper 8 bit register means what? D register content and H register content I am to watch. So content of D is moved to accumulator. So I can use add instruction to add the content of H with the accumulator. But here I am going to use ADC instruction because here I just I cannot just add the content of H with content of accumulator. I have to consider the carry which is generated previously. If there is no carry is generated, no, no problem. In that case, in that case, zero will be added. Okay. So the content of accumulator, content of H plus zero in that case. Okay. I uh, mean, what you are doing? ADC means A plus H plus C. Y, right? So whatever the value at CY, it will be added. So ADC. So if I do the ADC, then I have to mention that what I want to do. So I want to add with H, right? So now you can see that once I execute this code, so uh, here I see 
I am getting the deed content and I am adding age content. So you are getting the result ED. Okay, so this is your result ED. Okay, so this result you can move into register B, right? So ED. Okay, so that means when we are adding 65, 85 with 80, uh, when 89, these are two 16 bit numbers, then as you can see that what how I have used this instruction ADC. Okay, this is the way you can use the instruction ADC. Okay, similar to that, you can also use the uh, ACI instruction. But ACI instruction to use the ACI instruction, you need to provide the immediate data, right? So immediate data you need to provide. So that way you can add, okay. Okay. So instead of taking the day one data, instead of taking one data into D register pair, I, if I say that you don't need to take a, a D register pair here, uh, just take a HL register pair to load the one 16 bit data and you manually give the second 16 bit data. So manually you have to give the second 16 bit data, then what you have to do? So as you have to manually insert the second 16 bit data, so there is no need of this instruction. Okay, so just this, then there is no need of this instruction also. So uh, let me just know one. Uh, yeah, manually when uh, this one is required because you have to ship your content of L into this. Okay, lower lower eight bit data because you when we are adding to 16 bit numbers i have to start from lower 8 bit data right so this gone then i can directly use adi because i just take the same data but i am not using d register pair so 85 okay so 85 so 85 with 89 it will be added okay then after addition you get your result at accumulator and you see your result into the c register then you move the next content this and here you have to use ACI. okay what you, what will be the data you have moved the h into accumulator so you have to consider de so you are not using the register pair here so content of d you have to consider here so 65 is the data okay so now you see same thing will happen this is gone now when you are adding 89 with 85 you will get 0 e carry right so now you move to this to register c then again you are taking the upper 8 bit adding with 65 so you are getting ed so you move that thing into this okay and there is no carry you are getting okay so this is the same way of using adi and aci instead of adc and add okay so that totally depends upon the way you are writing your form i hope you understood so these are the addition instructions that you have okay like that in case of uh, subtraction instruction of the same thing sub and suy okay so when you are considering two number and doing the subtraction operation so let me just take so let me just execute this line so what you are getting you are getting everything zero zero so i just start writing the instruction so just i am taking the first data into the uh, say i am taking the first data into accumulator so that is the data is your 56 and i am taking the next data into the accumulator that is and uh, into the register b obviously i can't take it into in the accumulator so register b that is say uh, 23 so when i am using sub b then you can see that what it will do it will just subtract the content of accumulator minus content of register b. it will do this operation subtraction of register b content from a okay so a is the higher priority a minus b it will do the a minus b okay so just you see a is having 56 b is having 23 so you do the subtraction so what you will get 
33 right very simple okay so this is the result and there is no carry obviously in case of subtraction there is no concept of carry actually there is a concept of both because yeah, here you can doing what you are doing you are doing 56 minus 23 so also there is no chance of getting any borrow but if i do the reverse operation then obviously i will get a borrow there so if i do this one 23 minus 56 so what i will get whether you will get 33 there no obviously not so that is the confusion that um, uh, have arise during the writing of your second lab report uh, on subtraction process. Some of my students have written uh, uh, what they have shown in their cancellation part. They have taken the push complement what they are getting because I have told you that when you are subtracting a higher number from a smaller number, then you will get a result into push complement format okay so what you are getting after this subtraction this is already in two complement format you don't need to convert it into the two complement format okay so let me just show you this is 23 i am getting at accumulator then i am uh, putting in register b56 so i will subtract this thing with that so 23 minus 56 so you just see here 23 minus 56 so what you are getting you are getting cd and you are getting your carry okay so once you are doing a subtraction operation it is very much essential that you, you are you should consider what is the value of your carry flag okay if you if you get a carry flag value equals to 1 after a subtraction operation then you can understand that actually you are getting a negative result okay so in subtraction there is a negative result we can get so this is a negative result basically this is not a positive result okay why you don't need to see the sign flag okay to, to determine whether after a subtraction operation whether you are getting a positive result or negative result you don't need to check what is the value of your sign flag okay no need why because the number we are taking here 2356 they are the number of 8 bit numbers okay we are taking unsigned numbers we have not mentioned anywhere that these are the signed numbers okay so what i am considering my numbers are unsigned so obviously i don't need to see check anything i don't need to take any decision on this sign flag value okay so after this subtraction also you don't need to check what is the status of your sign flag according to that you will see that you are getting a positive result or negative result that is not a required thing here what actually you have to do here if you do the subtraction operation you just check what is the status of your carry flag if you see that your carry flag status is one then you understand that this is a negative result okay so remember don't check sign flag status to to make the decision whether you are getting a negative result after subtraction operation check only carry flag status if you are getting carry flag value zero then your result after subtraction is positive if you are getting carry flag value one then your result after subtraction process is negative that is all okay so this is a negative result okay so negative result micropoiser basically just once again micropoiser basically represent a negative result into the push complement format why i am saying this term again and again push complement format so that you can relate what you are getting this cd is nothing but the negative of 33 minus 33 it is just equivalent of minus 33 okay so, so for that reason i am saying this thing this is a two's complement representation of your result means it is if you take two's complement of this number you will get 33 simply say how i am uh, how how uh, how you can assure this thing you can calculate by yourself take two's complement of cd and cross check whether you are getting 33 or not 
and you will see that you are getting you will get 33 there so when you will get 33 that means 33 which carry flag value means it is a negative 33 you are getting your result as minus 33 this is the way you can cross check when you are doing performing the subtraction operation so in any digital format in any digital format means like not only in 085 in any digital format if you work on doing the subtraction operation if and you get a negative result that negative result actually the representation of your positive result into this post complement format okay so what i am saying am i saying in something wrong no means what if if i if i make a post complement of cd then i will get 33 similarly if i make two complement of 33 i will get cd okay you you cross check this thing take 33 okay what is the current binary representation of 33 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 so take one's complement then add one so what you are getting c d okay again same thing you can do just a reverse operation you can do take c d 1100 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. make 1's complement first then take 2's complement add 1 with the 1's complement result what you are getting 33 so these are the equivalent numbers so 33 in 2's complement format is cd okay so that is that is what i am saying so if you are doing a subtraction operation and you are getting a negative result then this negative result is nothing but the push complement representation of your positive result okay so when you are doing a push complement of any thing basically you are representing or you are converting that positive number into the negative number. that is the concept in binary number so once complement push complement this processes are used to represent the negative number okay so this is the way you can represent a negative number using two's complement. Okay. So I have told you this thing, this concept that two's complement and one's complement are the process by which I can represent a negative number. So how we can represent a negative number? So to represent a negative number, first you get the positive, you have to got the positive number first. Say plus six. So take plus six means six zero zero. Uh, sorry, zero one zero. 0 1 1 0 sorry 0 double 1 0 positive number 6 what is the representation of minus 6 take its two's complement so 1 0 0 1 then 1 0 0 1 plus 1 so that makes you 1 0 1 0 so 1 0 1 0 means a so this a is nothing but the two's complement format of plus 6 means a 1 0 1 0 is actually the minus six okay this one zero one zero i should not say this is equivalent to a if i say this is equivalent to a then i am saying this is also a positive thing i i i have to say as i am doing this way i am just taking the first six number positive and makes a two's complement of this number so now what i am getting after two's complement is actually your minus six okay what my point plus six minus six 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 plus 6 minus 6 so 1 0 1 0 is a minus 6 it is also plus uh, plus a it is also plus a but here it is minus 6 because it comes from the representation of two's complement of plus 6. okay that is all so here what we are doing we are doing the same thing we are doing this taking the first number taking the second number do the subtraction as we are subtracting a higher number from the smaller number so the result is negative so how that negative result is represented i am getting cd so what is cd what is cd this is a negative number but what is the value of this negative number it is actually 
so it is actually the negative of what minus 33 this is negative of minus 33 so minus 33 that minus minus 33 so 33 is also in hexadecimal i am not saying that this is decimal okay cd is also hexadecimal minus 33 so why minus 33 how i am getting 33 here i am getting 33 here by just taking the choose complement of cd and minus how i am getting minus by considering the carry class Okay, clear. Just think about this thing for two minutes. What I am doing, how I am getting the result. Okay, so let me just show you the next thing. Say, I am now going to show you the next example in the next example of using APY SBI. So, we can use this thing if you want to do a subtraction of two 16 bit numbers. So when we are subtracting to 16 bit numbers, the same thing we can do like in the previous case, LXI D. So take the first number 3344. So not this one, 4433 first. It is a simple one first, 4433 and LXI H 2211. Okay. I load my numbers into the desired locations. 4433 What I have to do? Subtraction. So to do the subtraction, first of all, you need to do what operation you are doing? You are doing D minus H. Means D E minus H L. Yeah, we are doing D E minus H L. Okay, D E minus H L. So which number I have to shift to accumulator? E, not L, right? E minus L. So I'm moving E, not L, right? Into A okay then i can do sub l right whether i am getting a carry that doesn't actually uh, uh, important question whether i am getting a carry carry or no carry i have to consider the, the instruction related to the carry when we are we are going to subtract the next one okay so let me just execute this one sub l okay so i am not getting any carry i am getting 22 in the accumulator, there is no carry, so this is a positive result. So I can move my result into where? Into C. Then just repeat the operation. I take the next upper registers from where? From D to A, right? Because I, we are doing D E minus H L. Then S U S U B is not going to work. S B B will going to work. H. Okay. So I am getting the result. Then I have to move my result into B register. So first result you got into C. Second result also same. We got into C. Okay. Very good. No problem. Because in the when we are doing the second subtraction operation, the result is also positive. No problem. Very good. But let me just do this reverse operation. Okay. So to the reverse operation, I just reverse my data. 22, 1, 1. And 44, 3, 3. Okay, so what I am getting actually currently is 22, 22. Okay, so what I will get after reversing this data, I will get negative result, but that negative result is nothing but is equivalent to minus 22 minus minus 22, 22, right? So now you can see here, getting the first number into DE, getting the second number into HL. Moving the number from E to A because we are doing E D E minus H L. So one one minus three three. 
okay so getting the carry here what is the result result is de okay moving the result into to see again doing this same kind of operation moving the data of d to a here i am doing the sbb okay because i have to consider the carry which is generated at this stage okay previous subtraction done dd moving that data into bc register so here is your result double d de so after this operation what you are getting you are getting carry at your you are getting carry flag so you can understand that this is a negative number okay so this is a negative number you are getting <coughs> carry flag but if you are do the, if you do the subtraction operation <coughs> okay if you do the subtraction operation then what actually you have to consider whether you are getting the carry up after subtracting the upper 8 bit that thing you need to consider okay that will decide whether you are getting a negative result or positive result what i mean suppose 11 minus 33 you are getting a negative result that's very good but if i change the data of d okay let me just change the data of d so i take the data 66 so you will see what happened 66 44 33 done data moving taking the first data subtracting getting the carry that means it is a negative result okay so that move to this register c taking the next data subtracting this is a positive result there is no carry so it will simply go to the register b so you are getting 21 de okay so now if you consider this this sub, this subtraction so what you are doing 66 11 minus 44 3 3 and what is your result 21 de is it is is it a correct form of your result 21 de Huh? Is it correct from your result? Yes, it is correct from your result because what you are doing, you are actually doing 66 11 minus 44 3 3 and you are getting a carry when subtracting E minus L, but you are not getting any carry when you are subtracting uh, D minus H. As you are not getting any carry when you are subtracting D minus H, e, uh, so your final result, what you are getting is actually positive. Okay, and this is the way you can interpret your result. Okay, then so you can cross verify one thing here. What you can cross verify whether the data that you are getting at the register C is is the correct form of your data or not. Okay, yes, it is the correct form of your data because when you are considering a 16-bit data, there is no need to the individual data individual 8 bit data okay you have to uh, you have to see this is a 16 bit whole data so when you are uh, considering a 16 bit data subtraction operation what you have to consider whether you are getting a carry after subtracting the upper 8 bit number that thing you need to consider okay so here we can see that we are not getting any carry up after subtracting the upper 8 bit of the number so your number that you are getting that is a positive number. Okay. So if I change the data a little bit, say I take this one 33 here. Okay. And here I am getting 22. But here I am getting 20, uh, 11. So now I will get a negative result. Okay. So this is the first subtraction done. I am getting a positive result. Move second subtraction done. I am getting a negative result because I am getting a cat. It is moved. So, this is the result after subtracting 1133 minus 40, 4422. This is the result 1133 minus 4422. This is the result CD11. Okay. But this is a negative result. Why? I am because after this operation, subtraction operation, I am getting the carry flag value equals to 1. Okay, so this is the negative result. So that is all about this.
so now you can also apply acy sbi just to instruction instead of getting and the second data directly you can give that second data using this instruction that you can use here okay and inr ina these are the instruction which are used to increase or decrease the register pair okay so here i i will show you say this instruction if i take this instruction okay just execute this instruction okay very really good executed so now if i do inx so inx h inx h what it will do it will just increase the value of h l register pair but what actually it is doing it is increasing the value of l here only 22 from 22 it is increased to 23 okay so i can do this operation using inr inr instruction also in that case i have to take this instruction so i will get the same result okay but why i am using inx because this condition because i i i consider the data as a 16 bit data so if you want to increase the 16 bit data by 1 bit you need to consider inx h instruction okay so inx instruction is used to use when you are actually incrementing the 16 bit data by 1 bit by 1 okay so here you can see that Uh, using inr also you can get the same result but if i change the data little bit then you can see if i change my data 44 fs so what what actually the result 4500 so this is the result you are getting because you are considering this is a 16 bit number so when you are increasing this 16 bit number by 1 so basically you can do it by manually 044 fs plus 0001 okay so what you will get 1 plus f0 carry 1 plus f0 4 plus 1 5 4 5 0 that is the operation happening here but if i use inr l will i get the same result no you see you are getting 4400 because it will not affect the content of each but that should be affected when if you consider a 16 bit number so whenever you are considering a 16 bit number then you have to consider the instruction inx okay and there is another basic concept this inx instruction is taking much uh, 60 state this is a one byte instruction or one machine cycle of code page but it take it takes 60 state let me just show you so inx 8 60 state one machine cycle okay so why 60 state it is taking because the case that i have shown you that if it is actually increasing the 16 bit number not a 6 8 bit number so there are more operation involved when you are increasing a 16 bit number so example i have just show you 44 fs if you increase that so you should get 4500 not 4400 so if uh, by inx instruction that it will add 44 fs plus 01 so there it will add 01 with l content as well as in h content right so there are basically two addition operation involved when you are using inx instruction okay because it is actually adding 16 bit it is actually increasing 16 bit number by thing by one okay so that's why it is taking extra two speed state for same one machine cycle that is of code page okay if i take inr h then it will just take one same one machine cycle but its state is four because it is just adding just incrementing single register but inx is incrementing register pair okay so i hope you understand why it is taking fixed state in inx so same thing for this here i am not going to show you and dad you know that dad is what how why dad is used to take one data into accumulator say a binary uh, decimal number consider decimal addition 
DAD means they, uh, sorry, uh, what I am saying, DAA. I am saying about DAA. Then DAA. So DAA is your decimal address accumulated. It is used for addition of decimal number. So here, 56 is hexadecimal number. You can see here. But I am the programmer. I consider 56 as a decimal number. So I want to add another number with 56. That is again 56. Okay. So 56 plus 56, two hexadecimal number will be added by the processor. Okay. But as I am the programmer, I want these two numbers as a decimal number and I want the result should be decimal. So in decimal number, what will be the result? 6 plus 6, 12, 1, 5 plus plus 10 plus 11. So 1, 1, 2. So 1, 1, 2 should be your result. So you are adding two 8 bit numbers, you are getting the result as 3 bit. It's, uh, Adding here, just simply see you are adding two 8 bit numbers and you are getting 8 bit result with carry. So, carry part you should consider here. Okay. So, like that. So, if I add this to, if I, so after addition, what I will get if I, if you just see, I'm getting AC. So, this is not a decimal number. So, I have to use some instructions to convert this number into a decimal number and that is the DAA instruction. So what I am getting? 12. I am getting carry. So carry means 1 and here is 12. 1, 1, 2. So whenever you are using DA instruction, at the time your carry flag will show you the MSB bit information. MSB bit information, right? Of your result. Most significant bit information of your result. If carry flag is 0, then it is 0, 1, 2. If carry flag is 1, then 1, 1, 2. So it is 1, 1, 2. So suppose if you add 56 with 86, 87. So 7 plus 6, 3, 8 plus 5, 13 plus 40, 1, 4, 3. So you just execute. So you are getting carry means 1. Here you are getting 4, 3. So this is the use of DA instruction. It is used to, for addition operation. Okay. But it cannot be used for subtraction. Okay. So I cannot use this instruction. A C Y, then uh, then say fifty six. Okay. So it will give you a wrong result. Or suppose you take this number fifty. So now it is giving a correct result because uh, this instruction does not apply any any operation over this number. But if you take I mean, that means it is not uh, completely okay, completely. You can this instruction is not cannot be used for subtraction because for some value of data it is going good result, some value of data is going uh, wrong result. So basically for subtraction you cannot do the decimal subtraction because in case of subtraction. The, the concept of positive number, positive result and negative result is there. So DA is not capable to show you the correct result when you are doing the subtraction operation. Okay, so if I just subtract this, so I will get what? I will get a negative result. You see DE after subtraction, you get DE at accumulator, carry is 1, so it is a negative result. So after DA instruction, the result is changed to 44. What 44? Is there any 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 scope of getting 44 when you are subtracting this thing with this? No. So so that means DA is not applicable for subtraction operation. It is applicable for only addition operation. So that is the case you need to remember. Okay. So D DAA is done and finally DAD. So DAD is what addition of 16 bit number like I have shown you addition program of 216 bit number okay but there I have shown you use of ADD, ADC, ADI, ACI combination, ACY, SBI or ACUB, SBB combination but DAD combination is just addition to 16 bit number directly you don't need to do anything you don't need to do anything you don't need to do twice ADD, ADC combination use you don't need to use any any other combination just take two numbers okay Xi, B, I am taking the first number as this, 
take second number lxi h as this okay so dad this instruction actually perform the addition operation between hl pair and the pair of any other register like bc or de or stack pointer okay so if i if i just show you click on this you can see bc pair is there okay again i am going to show you de pair is there hl pair is there and stack pointer is there okay so these are the things you can do so dad b you can use here because you are adding hl with register bc and you result will be saved at register hl again so here you see i i get my first data into bc 1122 second data into hl then adding after addition i am getting 55 50 okay so i can just use single instruction and do this 16 bit addition that is the use of dad instruction okay so if you if you if you put this value okay so here you see you are getting this result this is not a correct result because you are getting a carry value so you need to consider this carry also so your complete result is 0 1 1 for this carry 0 1 1 0 5 5 okay so that is the case for DAD instruction. I hope you understand this thing. So these are the different kind of arithmetic operation and they are used. You can consider this as your uh, your basic concept of arithmetic uh, group of instructions. So data transfer arithmetic groups are done. So next is your logical instruction. We will do it in the next class. Okay, then branching instruction. Thank you.